Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, girls. Welcome to another vintage cube draft. Feels like a hull breacher. Could be an emerald, but I think it's a breacher. Breacher's got to be the winner here, right? This is a lot of fetches. Three fetches. Three three non-blue fetches. Oh, I got an itch. That's the, that's the ticket. Yeah, we're just taking hull breacher. Let everyone else fight over that, the non-blue cards. I think it's the only blue card in the pack, right? Was there another blue card in that pack? I don't think so. A little Frankie doesn't think so. You know what else is nice to build around? Pack one, pick one, Hull Breacher, and then take all the all the draw sevens. So. I agree, Nicholas. Nicholas Squirt. Also, I just tried some some Squirt Zero recently. Zero sugar. Delicious. Just delicious. What do we got here? Sacred Founder. Oh, I think it's just a remand. I think we're just hopping into this remand. Again, only blue cards, so we're kind of sending good signals that there's no blue. You can't have the blue. Passing a remand is also pretty rough because it's a high tier. Oh yeah, no, Squirt is Lemon Lime. It's just, I think it's like the, I think it's a Sprite competitor. I think you might be, are you thinking of, you might be thinking of Fresca, which is a uh, grapefruit based, which I also like. I do like Fresca. No, you're thinking of Fresca. Oh my God, it does say grapefruit. No, I'm not, no, you're, no, you're not, th you're thinking of squirt. I'm thinking of starry. That's what I've tried. Starry zero sugar. I I got my S, my S labeled sodas confused. That was my bad. Yes, starry is a lemon lime soda. Oh, time warp? Well, I like a time warp. I also like a currency converter. Sail into the west, and we got a hull breacher. Let's sail. Let's set sail. Oh, is Starry just New Sierra Mist? Is Starry. Why would they do that? Because no one's drinking Sierra Mist? Let me find out. Is Starry Sierra Mist? All this points to a beverage without a lot of corporate confidence behind it, and that was born out of. Born out in January 2023 when Sierra Mist officially left shelves. In its place, a new lemon lime. Poor Sierra Mist. What does the name Sierra Mist even mean? Like, this is it like referencing the Sierra Mountains? Is that a mountain range? Tamio is usually pretty good with these decks. Because then you can just get back your draw seven and draw seven more. I also love a Genesis engine. Shell dock is pretty cool. Turn two hull breacher into turn three sail off of ancient tomb is pretty good. Or lemons and limes grow rampantly. Yeah, I didn't want to mention the the rampant. Well, I think it might be Tamio here. I for one will miss it. Please see yourself out. God, Genesis Engine is my absolute favorite. I'm taking Genesis Engine, man. Oh, Pest Infestation? Yeah, we're just bant drawing cards and taking good stuff. That's the that's the life we're living. Did they put Novice Inspector and Thraven Inspector? That's excessive. Yavamaya. Interesting. Hmm. It's pretty good if we get a Rafelos, right? Is it just the Elvis Mishtek? Maybe we're just Mishtek. I think we're, maybe we're just green, blue, and then we're splashing white. That is a late library, but library is not as good anymore. Also, we're like leaning on three colors. 
Oh, Rexage. I like a Rexage. I also do like a Golos. I like a Leyline Binding in this in this color combination. Ugin is good if we end up getting Channel. I think we're just taking Rexage. I think Rexage is just too good, and I don't want to lean heavily on White here. We'll take a Besaju. Timeless Dragon's neat because of plain cycling. This is a nice early natural order. I, I don't think that's the direction I want to go, though. Could also take Tribe Elder and just ramp into something. No, I want Besaju. Give me that Seiju. I like Celestia Sanctuary here. Kogla's cool, too. I'm going to take the land. Mm, Augur is like the only card I can consider playing in this pack. Yeah, take the scape shift out. Take the Valakut out. Like they're just, they require too much to build around. I've I've literally have yet to lose to someone with scape shift Valakut. I think I think maybe I lost one game, but it wasn't like a combo. It was just like they had Valakut and they hit me a couple times. Oh, let's take a Guardian Scale Lord. I I don't know where this. I don't know the direction this is going, but I like all these cards so far. I think the natural order pick and the Kogla pick are probably the two I'm most questioning, but. Oh, the Tamio came back? Come on. Give Papa his tomato. Uh, maybe we're a Wrath deck. I don't think we're a Quasali Pride Mage deck. Yeah, if Amaya came back, yeah, that seems fine. Especially if we get, like, Rafelos. Turning all your lands into forests and getting a Rafelos is pretty good. <sighs> Cabal Ritual, another card that's just, like, terrible outside of Storm. I thought this was a Spar's headquarters and I got real excited. It was not. Wooded Foothills seems good. It doesn't get anything yet, but... Keeps the door open. Horizon Canopy's fine. I think I'd rather have a fetch. <sighs> yeah, I think that's the best card in this pack. Courser's good, but we already have Augur, which is very similar. Yeah, we'll just take the green fetch. Ooh, a coveted jewel, eh? Fascinating. We did pass a time warp, I think. Is Coveted Jewel something I want to deal with? I don't know. It's pretty good. If we can get a... If we can get a kitten. Do we pass a kitten? Does anyone know? Did anybody see a kitten? Has anyone seen a kitten? A kitten, are you there? Otherwise, it might just be Devoted Druid. Covenant Jewel seems really good, though. Let's take the Jewel. Oh, I love a Seed Shark. <laughs> oh, man. Seed Shark and Palantir. Those are both... Those are both some bangers. Hmm. Fascinating. I mean, it could just take Sea Chrome Coast as well. I don't love Sea Chrome Coast. I think it's probably one of the weaker options. Seed Shark seems good. All of our four drops are spells. We also have a Jewel and a Pest Infestation. Palantir is just Palantir. I think I like Seed Shark a little bit better here. I think it gives us threats, which we need. It also turns on like Telerian Academy if we get that. It turns on Gaia's Cradle as well when we start flipping our our tokens, so.
cross on the fingers. Oh, Abdus Gaming, thank you for the bits, buddy. There's an Oko, which is like the perfect card for us right now. That's fantastic. I'll just take this Oko. <laughs> Nothing else. If the Questing Beast comes back, I'll take that, but seems good. We're basically just splashing right now for Genesis Engine and Guardian, which I think is totally fine. Guardian gets back Oko, Rexage, Hullbreacher, Seed Shark. If you put the counter on itself, it gets back Tamio and Genesis Engine. Like, it's very good. I do like a Mystic Confluence. I also like Llanowar Elf. Llanowar Elf ramping into any of these is really good. Razor Ridge Thicket also not terrible. <sighs> I feel like we're more of a Llanowar Elf deck right now. Where we just kind of want to maximize our mana. Manglehorn? Like, I, I think Manglehorn is just way too redundant. Like, we just have Rexage already. We don't need this guy. We also have Lauren of the Third Path. There's like enough three mana creatures that kill artifacts. I think Mystic Confluence is better. I'm going to be honest. I like having Mystic Confluence here. Um, Legolas is quick reflexes. That's interesting. That's a dude. So for those who don't know, this is a, this is a legacy card. Uh, untap a creature until the end of turn. It gains Hexproof, Reach, and whenever this creature becomes tapped, it deals damage equal to its power up to, 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 to up to one target creature. So basically you can play it pre-combat and then... When you go to attack, your guy is hexproof. It has reach, uh, and then it gets to fight something, but like one way fight. We're taking the fast bond, obviously, because we have uh, Coveted Jewel, Sail into the West, Tamio, lots of things to get lands. I like Bring to Light here, but not in our three color deck. Jace is great. I think we just take Jace here. I mean, I like Reprieve, but it's two mana white and we're not playing a lot of... Jar is fine. I just honestly don't love Jar as a... As a... I mean, I think Jace is just going to be better than Jar for us. Like Jace Fastbond is also good. Just put a bunch of lands. And then you put the lands on top and then play them with Augur of Autumn. I also just think Jace is like, it's just a better, it's a more well-rounded card, let's say. Oh, Tropical Island. Oh, sweet, sweet, sweet victory. That's beautiful. That was a great pickup. What if that Land of War Elf comes back because no one wants it? Wouldn't that be both sad because we get to adopt a Land of War Elf and also happy because then we get to be its dad, you know? Courser, Rafine's Tower came back, which is a two-color land. I think I just like Courser better here. Regrowth and Devoted Druid. Interesting. I like both of these. I like Regrowth in case we get Time Walk or Ancestral. I think we're just taking Regrowth here. Also getting back like Sail into the West seems good. Eh, I like a Sea Chrome Coast. I also like Outland Liberator. Again, this is another another two to three drop creature that deals with artifacts and enchantments. Like you just, I just don't feel I feel like you don't need this much redundancy. It might just be Sea Chrome Coast. 
I do think it is. I think I want our mana to be decent. Oh, Questing Beast came back. That's pretty cool. Put him in the sideboard for now, but probably also going to make the cut. Oh, Lana War Elf came back. Phenomenal. All right, so our deck is just done. We're just done. Pretty high CMC. We have one, six, two fives, and a bunch of threes, Nicholas. Go drink your grapefruit soda, you weird grandpa. Just kidding. I love Fresca. It's delicious. You don't even like it. I'm going to take Legolas's quick reflexes. Maybe we... Look at that. Bring the light. Time twister. There's a Minskin boo. I think with Hull Breacher, we're just going to take time twister. And then hope that we can hit uh, a Narset as well. Yeah, this is pretty good. The only time that Twister is power is when you have the cards that deny your opponent to the Twister. Mana Crypt? What did you take? Uh, that's fascinating. And the pick. Whenever you cast an artifact spell, investigate. I like this guy better than Psy, and I don't know why both are in the cube. They both do very similar things. They make they make artifact tokens when you cast an artifact. I think a 2-3 is better than a 1-4. But this guy also reduces the cost of activated abilities, and I think clues are better than Thopters most of the time. So, I don't know. I think this guy is better than Psy, and I don't think we need both. I'm going to take the Mana Crypt. I don't hate miscalculation here. We're not a workshop deck. We're not a tireless tracker deck. I'm not a blade splicer deck. Eh. It might just be miscalc. Like we have a couple of counter spells already. We have mystic, remand. I think miscalc is kind of fine. I don't think we're a Legolas's reflexes deck. I don't care about Jace and I think triple blue is going to be a little difficult with this mana. Could just be Tracker. We have Fast Bond. Actually, let's take the Tracker. Tracker seems good, especially if we get to Larian Academy, which is probably unlikely, but maybe. Got a Ramunap. Good old Tendrils. Relic of Progenitus and Soul Guide Lantern. I don't get it. And Lion Sash. That's just too much artifact, too much graveyard. And I'm sure there's more. I'm sure there's way more. Could take the Kozilek. No, no lands here. Could just take hard evidence. I don't know. This pack's pretty rough. Yeah, I guess we'll just actually, yeah, that's fine. I could see taking Candelabra if we had either Cradle or Academy, but we don't. So, not great. We could take Delta here. Delta gets Tropical Island. And if we happen to get one more blue dual land, it's, oh, I guess we're taking it. Also, I think we're, like, we have a lot of playables right now. Well, that's good. At least I didn't accidentally hit it. Zorin Orb. Celestial Colony. Oh, there's the Displacer Kitten. And we have Coveted Jewel. Ooh. Is that what we're doing? I think it's probably what we're doing. Yep. That's what we're doing. Probably going to take Augur out. I think we already have Courser. I don't really need both. Excavator's not great currently. This gives us two more slots. Let's put all these. Okay, we're running out of. Geez, that's a late Titania. <laughs> Is Titania just our win condition with Excavator? And we have double fetch, and maybe there's a. Oh boy, it's not Brawler. It's not. It's none. None of these cards. 
yeah, we'll just take the Titania. There's a Wasteland going around, too. Boy, Sylvan Carry added and Sylvan Library. Two Sylvans. I like Library with Courser and Fast Bond, so I think we're just taking that. Boy, oh boy. This is 23, and we still have Excavator in the board. Did not get an R set. That's okay. Nature's Claim. Lorien Revealed. Might just be Lorien Revealed. Triom hits two of our colors. I'll take the nature's claim. I think having another, oh, Simic Growth Chamber actually, oh, Raphelos actually seems really good here, especially with Yavamaya. Then again, Simic Growth Chamber being able to play an extra land with Fast Bond seems really good too. Oh boy. I'm gonna take Raphelos because we already have Sanctuary. Yeah, take Reclaimer. Hard evidence. No for you. No Elvish Reclaimer. This is 24 and we don't even have... We could cut the two white cards and just play Excavator. The Wasteland didn't come back. I don't know. Scale Lord and... Genesis engine just seemed really good. Oh, easy endurance. All right. Well, this is definitely an interesting deck. We're definitely land based, so I think we want the excavator. Don't care about Gruff's triplets. I was watching way back in the archives, the core set 2019 drafts. And Frank's opponent called him a butt munch. <laughs> Bro, that is way too far back. Oh, man. Good old butt munch. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I feel like we did kind of go into ramp a little bit. We could also just play Questing Beast. <sighs> like, I think Scale Lord and Genesis Engine are too good. I think we can cut Regrowth because we have Tamio. We can probably cut Oko. I'm <laughs> just kidding. That was a little joke. <laughs> oh, good times. It might have been butt teed munch, <laughs> butt to munch. <laughs> oh God. Nice cards, butt munch. That guy, remember that? What is that? Who was that? Oh man. Okay, so this is 24 cards. We need one cut and I think it might be remand. How do we feel about that? Our deck is much more proactive than Remand, whereas like Mystic Confluence can still bounce some things. Man, that feels bad, but like, I think that's correct. Is Kitten worth it? Oh yes, completely. It blinks Tamio, it blinks Jace, it blinks, blinking Coveted Jewel is basically win on the spot. It can blink Titania to get lands back. It can refresh Oko. Yeah, Kitten is insane. It's a two-card combo with Jewel that basically wins you the game. You blink Coveted Jewel, you get three mana and draw three more cards. You cast a card with the Jewel, you blink the Coveted Jewel again, you get three more cards. Actually, maybe I should have taken Jace because of that, and then we could have actually like 
milled ourselves. I think this is probably good. And we have Gruff and Questing Beast for the sideboard. And all these lands are playable, which is nice. I would have really liked one more land to search for other than Tropical Island, but here we are. So color. Yeah, I probably should have taken the Rafine's Tower just because it gives us a white source to search for, which we don't currently have. We are going to play one white. So green, this is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Blue, we have four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, ten, and one, two, three, three white sources. I mean, it's two white cards. It's not terrible. Yeah, okay. Let's see how it goes. This deck looks sweet. We'll see if it uh, performs sweetly. Perform sweetly, little dick. Yeah, I feel like we can transition into a, an aggressive deck. We also have endurance for like graveyards. We have another nature's claim. We have a wrath of God in case they go wide. Like I think we do have a, a good selection of cards here. Our main deck already has wreck sage and pest infestation. So. Actually, hold on. Is Titania good enough here? The only lands that we have, we have two fetch lands. I don't know if that's good enough. I mean, I might just rather have Questing Beast than Titania. Is Questing Beast going to do more than Titania most of the time? Probably. And I don't think I care about Ramunap either. Like, our lands just aren't going to the graveyard that frequently. Like, we have two. I think this is, I think it's better without those two. I think those two are kind of a trap. I almost kind of like a gruff triplets here, but I think it's, I think it's just better to bring the remand back. Yeah, this feels better. I'm glad we switched that actually. Yeah, Titania, I think, I think Titania would have been better if the Wasteland came back. Like all of a sudden we would have had like a, a more oppressive uh, game plan. But I think this like lowers our curve a little bit. And like I'm never impressed with Ramunap unless your deck is like really dedicated to it. Like if you have like Wasteland, Strip Mine, Fast Bond, Crucible, like unless you're like a playing a constructed deck, like sometimes Ramunap is just like, I'll get a land back. And then they kill it and you're like, meh. I think Endurance is fine. I just don't want another three drop. I think we have so many three drops. I think we can board in Endurance though. He's definitely a... A fine lad. Is there going to be an opponent for us? Are we going to ever? Are we going to have anyone to play? You think? Maybe. Who can say? All righty then. In the immortal words of Ace Ventura. Turn to Sylvan Library. I'm all right with it. If we hit that Mana Crypt, we can go turn three. If we hit it next turn, we can go turn two Questing Beast, but we're not going to. See, I told you. You didn't listen to me. Why didn't you listen? Oh, that guy's good. I'm a fan. I mean, I'd be a bigger fan if I could kill it. Land of War Elf, huh? What else we got? 
Okay. Okay. Um, is it just Celestia Sanctuary into Llanowar Elf? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do we just take, I think we do. Uh, pay four. Play this guy. Play this. And there we go. I'm going to restart after this. I'm noticing a minimal amount of lag. I'm hoping their start is not too aggressive for us. But I really didn't want to like see one new card when our cards were like land, 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 or elf. Interesting. Okay, we knew that. Great. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, hmm. We could put the two islands back. We could put one island, one Hull Breacher back. And then name Hull Breacher with Tamio. Kind of like that. They do have a 4-4. Four, four. I think we're just going to play Questing Beast here. Put on top. Put on top. All right, and I think we're Gucci. I mean, they have seven mana and they've played just Luminarch Aspirant so far, so I don't know what's going on here. Okay, five mana, don't like it. Palace Jailer, phenomenal. I wonder what they're going to target. Oh, the questing beast? That's good. Didn't see that one coming. <laughs> Do we Wrath of God? That's fascinating. Yeah, I think we're a little far behind here. I'm not loving it, in the immortal words of McDonald's. Oh, Sail into the West and Hull Breacher. Can we survive one turn? Block here, we take four, five, six. Block here, we take six. We can't actually take two. I guess we just put this back, draw this next turn. Play an island. Yeah, we're gonna cross our fingers that we just survive here. At the end of their turn, we'll play Hull Breacher and, and hope that that does it. Hull Breacher, more like butt much. <laughs> Fascinating. Do we block here? I think so. I think not going to one is probably more important. God, just don't have a removal spell, really. Don't have instant speed removal. This is great. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> that's just fine. So their trigger's gonna go on the stack. We are gonna play Hull Breacher. They're not gonna draw. We already get one treasure. So, do we play the land first? What's the strategy? I think you play the land first, right? That's usually how it's... Because you're losing these cards anyway. Uh, what do we get? Sail into the land. Oh, they're just not going to draw, aren't they? Yeah, this is worse than... Oh, no.
Oh yeah, they're just gonna choose to not draw. So that's not as good as Twister. Uh, yep. Pest infestation. Yeah, that's pretty rough. We can pest infestation to kill the monolith. We can wreck sage to kill the monolith. Gives us three blockers. Ugh. Why isn't Skyclave Apparition a creature, uh, an artifact, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I think they're just in too good of shape for us. And Sail into the West should have been Time Twister. Yep. Okay. Well... I think Endurance comes in just for the blocks. Let's take out Remand to bring in Endurance. Probably it. Wrath of God's good, but we have three white sources in our entire deck. It just does not feel reasonable. All right, I think our deck is way better than it performed game one. I think it's better than this as well, but... Oh, man. This doesn't do anything. Oh, this is better. Oh yeah, I like this. Keep. I think we're shipping Rafelos. I think Corsair on turn two or Tamio is better. This also lets us Questing Beast if we hit that. Okay. Um, I kind of like Tamio plusing here. What do we even try to hit? Hollow Breacher maybe? Hmm. Because next turn we can... Pl oh, no, actually, I think I want to go Corsair. The reason being, if we play Island Tamio, we still have to wait a turn to benefit from Corsair. So I kind of just want to run a Corsair out there. Yeah, sure, that's fine. And also we can see what cards we have on top with Tamio, so it lets us draw cards with Tamio, which is kind of nice. Yep, that's fine. That's just fine. Uh, Tails never fails? Cool. Tails, you suck. Let's go Hull Breacher. Oh, sick, we hit. <laughs> awesome, dude. Uh, we can't block that guy, so let's just get in there. Yeah, good old Hull and Oats Breacher. <laughs> That's my favorite. Because your twist, your twist is on my list. Oh, they didn't attack. Fascinating. Heads. Oh, you're just gonna make me lose twice. That's cool. 
Uh, should we just draw this and cast it and put Ogo into play? Fuck yeah, we should. That sounds amazing. Wow. Okay. Uh, what's this dude's name? Guardian? Scale Lord? I mean, this is great, right? Guardian? What did they get? Something stupid? Yeah, I don't care about that. Where are you? You're under the S's. Guardian Scaly Boy. Oh, that's cool too. Shoot. <laughs> uh, so what we need to get a we got a white here. So one, two, three, four, five. Scalerson. Back up on this guy. Get in there. Get back. Oko McSchmoko. And I guess we're just making a food token, right? Yeah. They can't exile this guy, so that's fine. Yeah, let's do that. Sure. See, this seems like a better a better position to be in. Oh no. Goodbye, Scale Lord. I guess I mean that doesn't kill any of my guys though. Plus we have Hull Breacher that they know about. Oh boy. What do we got in the graveyard? Kitten pest infestation. So can't we just bounce their three guys, attack with Courser? Uh, heads. Wow, I'm going to lose three flips in a row, huh? That's pretty good. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven mana. We can go Mystic Confluence. Bounce all three of these. Attack. Get back a Guardian Scale Lord. That seems pretty good. Yeah, we're definitely attacking with some food. Oh no, where's our tropical island? It's in the graveyard. Ah, son of a biscuit. <sighs> oh, I hate these fetches. Uh, that's not good. One, two, three, four. I mean, I guess we just like... Yeah, this is still fine. Do we want to return anything from the graveyard? Pest infestation gets rid of this and also just makes a shit ton of pests. I mean, that's probably going to do it on its own, to be quite honest. Sure. Oh. Great. What? What? So I get to be the monarch, so I get my scale lord back? What? That's fascinating. Are they going to do something? Interesting. I actually think we just get like Tropical Island here. I used, used, used. All right. Like, I just want to guarantee us being able to cast Mystic Confluence. I feel like they're going to do something, and the reason they gave us Scale Lord was... I actually don't know. I was thinking they might Wrath, but then we get to keep the Monarchy. So we know they have Apparition in hand, and that's all we know. Sure. 
draw a card, sure. That does not seem like big game plan to me. Yep, that seems fine. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but I think it's, that's fine. I mean, this being a four or five is pretty good. It's worse now because we don't get to have it anymore, but we also don't get to draw this island and we get to get another island. And now we get to draw a seed shark. Okay. No blocks. They have five cards. If we can find a time twister, it's really good for us. Finally want to flip. I mean, we have 18 cards, and we get to look at the top four through Tamiyo. We also get one, two, three, and then we have land for a clue and then we'll have one two three four five six so we could crack a clue so we technically get like five looks let's go with time twister no time twister there's a jace the mind sculptor though one two three four five six seven eight mana nine mana I think we're just playing one of these two. <clears throat> Keeping Confluence up seems good though. Yeah, I feel like we're in a pretty good position here. Oh, there's your boy. <laughs> well, well, well. Let's go to game three. Thank you for the treasure. <laughs> that is how Hallbreacher works. All right. Seems good. Oh. Nature's claim doesn't seem super useful. Gruff's triplets is just a big idiot. I still do kind of like remand. Yeah, this card's great. <laughs> Always impressed by Guardian Scale Lord. Oh, turn two Oko? Yes. Let's live the dream. Oko into Tamiyo seems good. Where is our where is our precious genesis? Oh, you! Oh my God, dude, that's so frustrating. It's the first time we've seen a black source in three games. Amazing! Oh, that guy's good though. Where's my wreck sage? Maybe we aren't Sultai anymore. Just wasn't meant to be, you know? Mm -hmm. Make a gentleman. 
Interesting. Got to throw this guy out here. I mean, I'm not going to waste three mana just so they don't draw. I probably should have done it in response, but... Twister, Twister. Guardian Scale Lord. <sighs> this is frustrating because we can't both Tamio and Guardian Scale Lord. MTG Pyro, thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate you, my dude. What does Tamio do here? Just choose Twister, then they go then they go Skyclave Apparition and kill our Hull Breacher. I don't love it. Uh, but there's nothing to scale Lord anyway, so eh, I guess we'll just Tamio here. Uh let's say time twister. Genesis Engine and Jace. Those would have been good. And a Delta. Being able to get a Jace back here seems good. We can go Jace into into Sanctuary. They might be focusing on Hall Breacher too, so. We know they have Palace Jailer. Palace Jailer getting rid of Hall Breacher would be pretty pretty backbreaking, I think. Well, that's pretty good. I guess Tamio's dead. And we do not get to get back Jace. Yep, cool. That's really good. Well. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that was pretty fascinating. So next turn we can play Oko and balance with Sanctuary. And if we can start getting back any of these four drops, it's going to be pretty good. I will take one and assume you're going to wrath the board. Because <laughs> that was an aggressive attack when I have six creatures. Sunfall? Damn, got it. Great. Yep. Make a guy. Well, they can put Oko to four, but they can't kill him. <laughs> Fucking amazing. <laughs> oh, Lord. Title of Skull for Oko. Damn for every, for Pest Infestation, every creature. Baleful Mastery for the Oko when it comes back. Great. I mean, we're definitely not dead. They have two cards. Scale Lord could clean up nicely here. I mean, just fingers crossed they don't have Palace Jailer. Or Path. <laughs> just don't have those two removal spells, and then we can start getting our things back. Getting back Hall Breacher and then going Sail is... Gotta be correct. Okay. Okay, two cards. That's fine. Okay, totally fine. Infinite mana, but nothing to do with it. Great, great. <sighs> Time twister. 
Wooded foothills. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, we just get like Jace and Jace lock them. No, because they got creatures. I think we just get Hullbreacher back and then sail. So we have one, two, three, four. We have three mana. Like we gotta do it now, right? One, two, three, four. Oh, we just win the game. Oh, no, we don't. I thought they, I thought they conceded. Uh, discard your hand and draw seven. Yes. Okay. Okie dokie. <laughs> That's going to do it. All right. So we get to play Mana Crypt. And one, two, three, four, five. This is going to make a million. A million mana because now they have to draw. Yep. Great. <laughs> so, what is this? Just, they have no cards in hand? Um, I mean, we can go Kitten for four, play Rexage, Blink this. I think we're definitely playing Rexage to kill the Basalt Monolith. Uh, one, two, three... I mean, do we just play anything else? Like, maybe Courser is probably good here. But it's just... I don't think we really need it. And if they have, like, another Wrath effect, if they top deck something nuts, like... I don't really want to... risk that. Like, if they just draw, like... If they draw dam again, it's rough because I don't want to lose my scale lord. But also, like, we've the damage is done and our graveyard's empty, so. Where you wasn't? Yep, give that Zert a float. I mean, Hull Breacher and draw sevens, man. That's a deck. Oh yeah, you don't have to pest anything actually. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking there. Yeah, you don't you just don't pest anything. You just choose no targets and make a bunch of guys. Uh yeah, that's good. Blink that lady. That's pretty good. What do you think? Heads? Never heads. Oh, Questing Beast is nice. Oh, that's really, that's really good. If we can get rid of, how do we get rid of this guy, though? Because hmm. they can just block the Questing Beast. But I guess that's all they can do, right? They have to block, otherwise their Questing Beast dies. Sure. So... Let's go Courser. Planes off the top seems good. Oh, Jace is nice. Let's do we have a way to get at that Jace? I don't think so. Two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. Kitten. You gotta be kitting me. Uh questing beast for one, two, three. Four. Uh, let's make it a green because that's what we need uh, attack Elspeth attack your face I 
How we just take three from the Zerta? I guess the Elspeth is dying, so no, we don't. Yeah, they can't block both, so. Do we just make a bunch of pests? What do we make? Four pests? I don't think we need to do that. They have one flying creature. We have a food token. We're drawing a Jace, which triggers the Displacer Kitten. We can shuffle with Wooded Foothills. I think if they can't win here, I think we're in really good shape. That's totally fine because you can't draw the card. All right, yeah, that, this game's over. Yeah, Pest Infestation is up to those artifacts. Yep, taken three. Well, they have no cards. All right, Tails never fails, right? What? That's not how Hull Breacher works. <laughs> yeah, it's not, you can't only draw one card a turn. It's, if you draw a card other than the first one in your turn, you don't draw the card. Uh, so we're just going to go one, two, three, Jace the Mind, Sculptor, uh, Blink, Rex Sage, kill this guy. Not that it really matters. Uh, let's draw three cards. Okay, cover the jewel. Hi, 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 hi. Put this and foothills back. Play the foothills. One, two, three, four, five, six. Play cover the jewel. Blink. Probably mana crypt here just to get that mana. Crypt. Draw three. Fascinating. Okay. So we can go. We have a Boseju, which we don't want. Let's crack this guy. Get nothing because we're actually out of land. So that's unfortunate. Um, Fastbond breaks us even though. So let's go. Fast bond, blink the coveted jewel. Resolves. We also have 10 minutes less than them on the clock. Uh, play a land. Okay, always yield. Okay, great. Play a land. Uh, let's play Stolen Library with this guy, one. Blink, Coveted Jewel. I'm trying to win here in four minutes, which should be attainable. Uh, let's do that. Play land. Let's go blue. Blue. Mystic. Return three to their owner's hand. Go this guy, this guy, this guy. Blink the jewel. Add three blue. Okay. Okay, so. How do we get a card back from the graveyard? Do we have a way to do that? Can we just attack them and kill them? Oh boy, there's so many things happening. Play this guy. Uh, play a tracker.
I'm sure there had to be a way to win this game. I think we blink Jace and bounce a token and we win. I just, I'm running out of time, so I don't want to like not have a way to, to do that. So they have one flyer and we have an endurance, which is more than enough. Okay, wow. Oh boy. <sighs> okay, let's. <laughs> that was a bit of a grind, but as you can see, Displacer Kitten and Coveted Jewel is a real, a real thing. Now I have sales stuck in my head. I hate you all. All right, maybe not all of you, but yeah, some of you. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, I will play first. <sighs> I'll keep this because of second turn library, third turn Oko potential. Yeah, you know what you did, Nick Squirt. <laughs> oh, all right, cool. Well, presuming we can hit a blue land or any land, I'd rather not play the Besager. I like, I like using this for other things, you know? Oh, look at that guy. Okay. Well, shit. We can't play anything and Genesis and play Celestia Sanctuary this turn. That's unfortunate. Also no blue source. I think we're just taking four here. I actually don't hate blowing up their land. I mean, they get to search for a, a, not a basic land, but a land with a basic type. So I don't think it's great. Like I'd rather, like they're just replacing Triome with maybe like a Steam Vents or something. I just think this is better suited to kill something else. Like I think I'd rather just play it and play Courser this turn. Um, Put on top. I undo. Yes. Okay. I want this to be underneath the Genesis engine. So I think we just put this on top, this on top of that. Play this. So we'll draw Genesis engine and then we get to play. I guess we could have just done it next turn too, but you know, if they kill Sylvan library, Tropical Island. That's what that's what Papa likes. Um, do we just questing beast here and then attack for a bajillion? Could also keep up Hull Breacher and or Remand, which I kind of like. Well, we're definitely like put you on top. Put you on top of that. Oh, why didn't I put this on top? What a fucking idiot! Oh my god, that was so bad. <laughs> this should have went on top. Wow, that was just. Fucking basic courser of crew fix math. Yeah, that's terrible. 
Wow. Oh my God, so bad. Yeah, we just keep sure Genesis Engine, put the, the trop on top, and then just play the trop for free, and then we have an extra card in our hand. What a numbskull. What a butt munch, you know what I mean? All right, let's try to do it correctly this time. Okay. Well, we want a white source. Can't play Genesis Engine without that. So I also want another blue source. So I think it's I think it's Sea Chrome Coast. I kind of want to keep up Hull Breacher and Remand here. So put you on top. Put you on top of that. Play this guy. And get in there again. And if they want to block Courser, that's totally fine. I'll trade Monastery Mentor for Courser. Um. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty bananas. <laughs> Please put two cards from your hand on top and give me three treasures. Oh my god. Two cards on top. And then I get those treasures. Yeah, that was pretty good. One, two, three. With four mana, I think we're just keeping up remand here. Wow, that was bananas. <laughs> oh, I loved it. Nothing, nothing to do. Beautiful. Oh, Jace the Mind Sculptor, eh? Hmm, fascinating. Hmm. Well, put you on top. Probably pay for to keep you. And let's go one, two, three, four. For Jace, right? Yeah, that seems right. Okie dokie. No Jace for me. Hmm. So I'm very tempted to just play Oko here. Let's get this guy out of here. He doesn't need to keep being a little dick face. And untapping with Genesis Engine seems pretty good. Oh, Tamio, what do you get back? A lot. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six mana, and we have a sanctuary. So put you on top, put you on top. White, green, green, 
blue Genesis engine. If you just pay one, what are we getting? Nothing really? Yeah, but I do want to... I do want to make this an elk. I mean, they just can't block a questing beast here. They'd have to cast two instant speed spells to pump their monks large enough. Yeah, I feel like we're in good shape with them not doing anything. We also get to look at like six cards a turn. <laughs> um, put you on top, put you on top. What do we want? We want another island for sure, so... Pest infestation. Fascinating. Get rid of wooded foothills here. Even though it shuffles, I'd rather have another green source. Or blue source, rather. Uh, remand is interesting. One, two, three, four. Let's add a blue. How about that? Blue. Blue. I feel like Roman just cuts them off from a lot when they only have four mana. Dress down. Sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is annoying. That's really annoying, wow. That's pretty good. We're definitely just gonna kill How come I can't, I can move, okay, I can move those guys. Okay, there we go. We're gonna kill the Prowse guys because they're actually gonna get larger. And make you a little bigger. Keep up pest infestation, or not uh, remand rather. All right, well. Yeah, Dress Down is, they play Dress Down in, in Legacy. Uh, you play it, and then you play Phyrexian Dreadnought, because then you don't have to sacrifice anything, because Dreadnought then has no, no text. Oh yeah, Snap Block. I mean, I basically have three Planeswalkers out in a Sylvan Library, like. Oh, that's pretty good. I don't even care about sale right now. Um, let's put you on top, put you on top of that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. Let's 
So one, two, three, and then we still keep up Remand or Mystic Confluence. We could do that. I'm just not, I'm just assuming they don't have, they have things. And you're returning that? I mean, now we're going to do that. Now we're just going to bounce your two creatures. Uh, return, counter, you, you, you. And that'll do, pig. Oh man, I'm not even sure what to board in here. Nature's claim doesn't seem that great. I mean, they really rode that monastery mentor to uh, to victory. And by victory, I mean defeat. But like, that's what that's what kept them in the game for sure. Oh, this hand seems very slow. Eh, this hand isn't as slow, but it's still pretty rough. Let's get hard. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Let's ship Jace. Double blue seems a lot harder in this particular hand. Mana Crypt. That's not it. Yeah, this hand's rough. Mana Crypt. That's not it. We're having a good time. Yeah, they're gonna get their little, they're gonna get their little mock sapphire. Oh, Soul Ring instead. <laughs> yeah, classic. Mana cr oh, Son of a biscuit. Well, we can play this guy and next turn kill their Soul Ring, theoretically. Unless they play Soul Ring and keep up, like, Cryptic Command or something. All our lands can make green. Okay. Five mana, huh? That's a guy. That is a big guy. That is what's known as a gentleman. Well, we were really hoping to hit a land. <laughs> Not meant to be. Oh, you can counter this? Oh, uh, that's good. I feel like we should concede here, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, our X Sage can't even kill their Sol Ring. They drew a card. Oh my God, Dress Down is really cool. I don't like it, but it's cool. Ugh. What a weird card. Yeah, turn four Teferi and to counter my spell is pretty good. Oh boy. Really? This guy's dashing, huh? Fascinating. I don't get it. Land? This seems like the only option. Okay, that was a good one. That's not nothing. Interesting. They didn't do anything. Fascinating. I am fascinated.
I think we just attack first. Like, if they have Cryptic Command, they can just use it. Maybe they have nothing. There's no way they have nothing. They had nothing, and we just got to kill their Teferi? What you call it? <laughs> uh huh. What is going on? Let's say Hull Breacher. Huh? How about that guy? We whiffed, and I was going to say Genesis Engine. I was so close. That's funny. Wow, I think we just pulled really far ahead, and I don't know what's going on. This is wild. Oh, Mystic Confluence on top? <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> or we can just get, like, remand? No, that's not going to do anything at this juncture. Do you like that you said juncture? Oh, there's a twister! Crypto Command, tap down the team. No, no tap down the team. Look at our hand. It's just stacked. Yeah, might as well play this guy. I'm not going to bluff a one-mana counter spell. We have six, seven mana. Oh my god, how did we win that? What even happened? What even happened? Wow. I thought we, I was totally tempted to scoop. I was like, well, this game is probably over. What in the earth, man? All right. Handles all black cards. <laughs> the Grixis guy would say that. Typical Grixis guy. He just had red and blue mana with all the black cards in the hand. Oh. What are you doing, sir? All right, Wallace, we don't get to play first. Do you like this hand? I don't think so. It's not very good, is it? Remand might be able to hold it together. All right, we're going to risk it. <sighs> Keep. Yeah, like turn two, we can remand something, and then they're going to probably blow us out before then it looks like. Oh no. Oh dear. Mana Vault. Crypt. Thing. Okay. Well, Remand into Tireless or Hull Breacher or even Pest Infestation is not bad. I can't I can't fault this hand now that we have all the colors and a two mana card and a three a couple three mana cards. Yeah, if they channel, it's gonna be it's gonna be lights out. Oh, interesting. What in the fuck? <laughs> God, it's been so long since I've seen someone cast a Rabble Master. This is wild. Oh, God. How do I deal with that? Uh, uh, uh. I feel like this might be correct. Oh, 
Oh God, I don't know. Like, I don't want to just hold up mana if they don't play anything. You know, it's just gonna be like, it's just gonna be sad at that point. Okay, that's fine. Discard a Jetmir's Garden. Magda. Liquid Hot Magda. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have laughed at that. It's terrible. Okay, Rexage. Probably not getting the job done. What does Oko do? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We go to five. Questing Beast is a gentleman. I think we just have to deal with the Rabble Master here. Rabble Master gets plus one power, but he was already getting that. He was already getting plus two from these two guys. Oh no. I'm preparing. <laughs> they're going to play a guy and then they're going to give it haste. So it's just three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's a lot. They didn't give that guy haste? Okay. It might be worth boarding a bunch of white mana to Wrath of God. <laughs> I'm no expert, but that could be decent. Mana Crypt. Do I even want a Mana Crypt? I knew what we were drawing. I don't know why I even said... Yeah, we're just gonna... Okay. Wrath of God, huh? Well. Endurance is a good gentleman. Let's take out Sail. I think it's going to be a little too slow for sailing today. I don't, I feel like Wrath is going to be way too hard to cast. We're going to have to mess up the entire mana base. I don't think it's a great option. Brawler could be decent. Could be just a 2-3. Yeah, let's bring in a Brawler. Um, maybe Rexage? No, Rexage is, is fine, I think. We don't have anything over here, do we? Mm, Fast Bond is probably a little too dangerous. All right, let's see if these changes do anything at all. Oh, Brawler seems good here. Getting Tropical Island makes it a 2-3. Actually, probably could have waited to trigger the tracker, but, like, that's four turns away. Two, three for two in Vintage Cube. <laughs> it's the gold standard. Well, this start is much less explosive, so that's nice. All right, next turn we can either go Jace or Tireless Tracker make a token. A clue, if you will. Is 
That is a big gentleman. Yeah, that's fine. Oko can just go to go to two. And then we just make it <laughs> much smaller beast. I mean, I'll probably happily trade with the oddity. Yep, that guy's that guy's problematic. Pump. 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 Five five, huh? Seems good. Do we just double block? I'll just double block this guy. Oh no, they're double attacking though. Do you just double block here? This doesn't have trample, so I could actually go block here, block here, and then Oko this guy. That actually seems better because Oko gets to survive. Hmm. One, two, three, four. We have five mana. What are you saying right now? <laughs> I think Neon Tokyo Rain is going crazy. One, two, three, four. Uh, I don't want to give you more green. Yeah, I knew you meant double block the Hex Drinker, but like now it's just not a problem and we also got the oddity off the board. And we got to keep our Oko for now, so. Um, I mean, I guess they can kill it, but. What do we got? One, two, three, four. I don't like I don't love that. Let's just crack a clue here. Oh no, not a food. Oh my god, I almost got my got my tokens confused here. Hmm. The problem is they just kill Oko, but I think that's just a I, if they attack with both, it's it's not great. Which is why I don't love putting another planeswalker out. Okay, well, <laughs> that's that, I guess. Yeah, all right. I mean, next turn we can play Coveted Jewel for all the good that does. Magda, move over the equipment. Yeah, that seems good. Yeah, I think their deck is just a little too aggressive for us. And our draws have been pretty poop, unfortunately. Only we had something to do here. I'm just going to crack this. We don't have any real way to effectively take advantage of a, a food token. Sure. Yeah, that's a lot of things they got. Genesis engine, and it comes into play tapped because of the mangle horn. How perfect. Well, I think it's the best we can do. That's super obnoxious. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're just taking a turn off, I guess. What are we taking? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We go to twelve. Fucking Christ, come on. That's super annoying, dude. Ugh. 
Uh, Hexdrinker, Manglehorn, Rexage. Yeah, great. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, I mean, we can play Questing Beast and <laughs> block here. Take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, that's just game. Yeah, that was a miserable round three, but eh, first two rounds went well. I'll take it, 2-1. Thank you guys for watching. Slam the buttons. You know what to do. I'll see you next time.